Hello everyone, how are you doing? I want to know, do you guys get frustrated with tech? Like, do you ever just want to pull your hair out because technology is not your friend, it's not working? I don't know about you guys, but I always say I have a love-hate relationship with technology. I love it when it works and I hate it when it doesn't. Well, tonight we're going to uh, break down some technology. We're going to share our favorite platforms and tonight I have with me come on let's see I have Tasha Tasha say hi to everyone hey Tasha Glover is joining us she comes uh, from tech with Tasha that's a real hard name to remember right <laughs> <laughs> so um, Tasha and I first met um, at CWIN Christian Women's Entrepreneur Networking Group and we have bonded over Facebook we actually got to meet in person because Tasha where mm -hmm. do you normally reside at what state is it the great state of mississippi mississippi okay i'm gonna say m-i-s-s-i-s-s-i-p-p-i -S 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 -I -I, because that's what you learn in fifth grade <laughs> well anyways tasha um has her own company and she really is the tech expert behind c -Win and the facebook and a lot of other things and i've asked tasha to join me tonight because one of the biggest questions I get is, Mary, what app do you use? What program do you use? How do you do this? So you know what? If you get frustrated and just want to pull out your hair with technology, I get it. Tasha gets it. I want you to share this Facebook Live right now with your network. Yeah, right there. Just that right down there. Hit that share button. Share it out with your network so that we can help your friends, family, and colleagues. And we're going to talk about technology that startups can use and maybe you're in the growth stage you're you're getting ready to scale so we're going to talk about multiple platforms and apps but i know that tasha wants to make sure that she touches on three and i didn't know about all these and we were just talking before the show and can i just say omg i am so excited about these platforms that tasha is going to be talking about paper form dibsado and incartra incartra Kartra. Kartra. I don't know why I want to put <laughs> I in before that. Kartra. And some of these platforms are like all inclusive. So I am super excited for Tasha to tell us more about these and how they work. And if we have time, I'm going to share some of my favorite platforms that I think um, not just entrepreneurs, but some of the programs and apps that I use are just tools for organizing and stuff so anyways tasha thank you so much for joining us tonight high five because i believe it's like 10 o'clock there it is so normally i'll be on central time and now i'm on eastern time because i'm in florida and so it's 10 o'clock and thank you so much for um honoring your commitment to be on i was like oh no so tasha had a last minute trip that came up life happens but you know what? She stepped up to the plate and she honored her commitment to be on my show. So thank you so much, Tasha. Why don't we start with a little bit about your background and, and how did you end up as an entrepreneur? Ooh. Uh, well, first <laughs> off, thanks for having me, Mary. i um, super excited to be on with you. You're always a burst of ball of energy. Um, thank you. So I was literally called to entrepreneurship. I always kind of had the kind of the entrepreneurial, what they call it a bug. It's not really a bug. Um, but I've always been, had an entrepreneurial spirit. Um, and I was the person who was in the workplace and was like literally bored. Like I was ah, I the one you. who was always trying to find a better way to do something. So, um, one of the things I absolutely loved, even at, um, the jobs that I had in corporate in my, like my, I've always I've, I've been in distribution like most of my career, which sounds really boring um, <laughs> and it is a little boring. But one of the things that I would always do, Mary, is I would try to crack whatever software that I was using. <laughs> so um, I love you it. Know, I would like make little games and try to because I always want to be more efficient. And, and, and so I'll look for the training manual because I'm one of those people who, when I get something new, I have to read the, like, the manual. Not the quick start guide, but like the whole thing. Oh, so really? I know how something oh. works. Yeah, it, that's kind of like a, a gift and a curse, I guess. But um, yeah, that's me. It's like, where is, like, I hate quick start manuals. I'm like, where is the actual owner's manual of this thing? So that's kind of like me and kind of how I function. That's, so that, that's a long story short of how I kind of, 
fell in this love for um, tech and helping to, you know, help other entrepreneurs learn and get efficient because people get really kind of stagnant when it comes to having to crack the code, so to speak. Right. Right. Absolutely. Well, um, thanks for sharing that. Um, How long have you been in business now? I have. uh, It's been three years since I actually quit my job and came home. Although I've been doing little things here and there before I actually left my job, but um, it's been about three years since I've actually been home. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Three Um, years last month. Sweet. I always, so I have this thing with technology. Oh, hey, Victor. Victor joined us. Thanks for joining us. Victor's up in LA. He's someone I met at one of the social media conferences. So I always have this joke with my husband. So I'll be back here in my office. I'm working whether it's like sending an invoice, a contract, promoting something, trying to figure out like all this new technology for my show. And I'm always like, I'm smarter than the computer. I'm going to figure (laughs) it out, you know, but sometimes you've got to call for help. So, um, so for my Facebook live show, you guys know that I use Ecamm. That's how I bring my guests in. Well, Ecamm is a platform and then I use Skype to bring my guests in. And then now we've added to that. Let me see if I can show you guys. So this is my new stream deck. Well, Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Move it so, forward. So yeah. Okay. Cool. So that is like hotkeys. So I can launch Skype and Ecamm and anything. And when I say it's new, I mean, I'm just starting to use it because I've had it for a year and a half in a box because I couldn't figure out how to use it because I didn't sit down and read the manual or the instructions because I'm the person I'm opposite of you I'll be like I know how to use this cup I don't need to read instructions oh there's a hole in it I shouldn't hold it you know I'm the let me just jump in and try it and when it doesn't work then I put it aside um so we're using stream deck tonight we're using ecamm we're using skype Um, and I think that's all that we're using to do the Facebook live show. Oh, and restream. So I'm actually, hopefully, fingers crossed. Can you guys let me know where you're watching from? Can you let me know if it's my Facebook page, my Facebook group? Are you on YouTube? Let's see. I'm trying to stream to three different platforms right now at once. So we'll see. Um, (laughs) I just, I, you know, I'm like you, I like to take on new technology, give it a try, see what fits. Mm -hmm. So I think that one thing that happens with entrepreneurs, some entrepreneurs, right, is that we see every program out there. We see what everyone else is using and we want to buy it all. I don't know. If anyone is like me and constantly buys apps and programs, please raise your hand. I won't tattle you out. Oh my God. High five. Wait, no, wait, I'm addicted. Wait. Oh, I had to cut myself off. So I just, I love AppSumo. If you don't know what AppSumo is, go to my website. There's like a link there that'll take you to it. Um, But AppSumo is where I buy 90% of my programs because they're $49 for life. Instead of, I don't like monthly fees, you guys. I hate monthly fees. Let me buy it once. Give me all the updates that you ever do. Um, So some of the programs that I've bought are DocSketch, which signs your documents electronically for $49. Oh, okay, Victor, I'm going to rat you out because, you know, we love each other. So Victor is like, yes, he's an app junkie. And you're watching from my (laughs) Facebook group. That's awesome. So I know I'm streaming to one group. (laughs) Hopefully hopefully it's on some other pages. Um, but I absolutely love AppSumo because they have great deals. You can get in when they're still updating and figuring things out. What have you bought from AppSumo that you absolutely love? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> you go. Actually, actions. I know I'm being funny. Actually, the um, first tech um, app that I, tech software I want to talk about, I bought on AppSumo. It's called Paperform. Yes. How did so I, I miss that Paperform. one? Paperform. On, <laughs> you missed it. It's it's been, ooh, I think maybe over three years ago. But can I say that it is one of the best apps that I have gotten on AppSumo? Okay, I'm gonna type um, that in the comments so people will know. That's awesome, and that's called Paperform. 
paper form. And they're out of Australia. Okay. And so they were just launching. But when I tell you this company is amazing, um, they've kept their word on their updates. They actually just added a e-commerce functionality. They have like three different tiers. Wow. And so, yeah, so this one, it's, it's not just a form builder, you know, because there's other form builders out there. Google Forms, Gravity Forms, Type Form. This is paper form is like next level form builder uh, because it does so many other things. You can even build out um, what look like many um, web, like many one page websites just on paper form. Um, and they call them landing forms instead of landing pages. You can landing integrate forms. video. Okay. You can integrate uh, your your cart and um, I don't know what kind of deal Paperform has with all these integrations, but another app that we'll talk about later, um, for instance, Kartra, you could only integrate on a payment gateway. You could only integrate PayPal and Stripe, but Paperform, you could integrate Stripe, you could integrate PayPal, you could integrate Square, and you could integrate Braintree. So what? So um, what I always like to do is so Paperform. It creates the document or something. Tell us how you use it. Like, how do you, like, everyday use? How would somebody use that? Why would I use paper form? What does okay, it so, replace that I already have, maybe? So, paper form, like I said, you can use it as a landing page okay. builder. So, you can build landing pages for products. You Say if you're doing a, a course um, launch. A course launch. Or would you're that doing, be when I might use that? It could be. Um if you're doing um, like a challenge in your group, you want people to sign up and oh. you can even automate email to go back out to them. You can create what? surveys and quizzes inside a paper form because they have that conditional um, like questioning where you can even assign ah. like um, points. And you can do scores. Paper form is amazing. Okay. And so get this. They have three different tiers. Okay. The first tier is $15. Uh, a month, so it, right? $15 yeah, a month. month. That's a month. A month. So it cheap. goes from 15 to, I think, 50 And I think the highest one is like an agency plan. It's like under $100. But paper form is an amazing software. <laughs> Victor put in the on fire <laughs> on fire emoji, right? That is on fire. So, um, how do you use that for your website? Do you, I mean, what do, do you yeah, use? So that? I've had it for a while. So I started using paper form, um, initially when I first started. So, um, I would help when I first started, I was actually doing a lot of retainer work for clients. So I built out quizzes for lead generation, um, okay. with paper form, um, like I said, as a lead magnet as a lead magnet. Okay. And so um, it's not restrictive. Like if you actually, because there's actually quiz builders that you can purchase that are still kind of restrictive, um, but paper form isn't. You can even actually put images for questions. It is really slick. Mm. Paper form is really slick. Um, something else you can do with it is I've done this. So um, one of my kids uh, homeschool academy, they were having a fundraiser. And so I built just a one form on paper form where we took donations and we actually made an order form for um, the the dinner that they were doing. And so you can you can go on there. You can find out more information about the fundraiser. You can choose you want a chicken dinner. You want to add some cake to it. Like you can do all that with ah. what we made with paper form. And then if you don't want to purchase, you can bypass the uh, menu and just click, I want to donate. You won't even see the menu because there's ah. that conditional logic. Conditional so if you say, logic. I just want to, I just want to donate. You click that. You won't even see the menu. You just go to the donate. Form. And can you customize all of that? Like with your logo and your brand? Yes. Cause I'm all about staying on brand. Yes. Right. It is it's customizable. You can do your hex colors. You can do your logo. Okay. Um, you can do your fonts. Oh, sweet. So, I like yeah, it. It's yes. 
paper form check it out it's totally to gonna have to check it. out paper form because it sounds mm -hmm. like an, i cannot believe i missed that deal i'm actually yep. on restriction i'm not allowed to buy if anybody <laughs> sees me post like hey check out this deal i just posted um i'm call me out on it and i'm gonna buy you starbucks that's gonna have to be my thing because i'm definitely addicted to app sumo like i sometimes yeah. i just delete the emails i'm like i won't even read them <laughs> Cause I'm afraid if I open it, I might buy it. Like, as soon but you as won't unsubscribe though. Will you delete oh, the email? No. <laughs> Cause that one deal is going to come through and I'm going to be like jackpot. So for me, I'll tell you what my jackpot moment. Um, so with me for AppSumo, I've been, uh, I have done my contracts the old fashioned way. They're a word yeah. doc. I made them a PDF. Mm -hmm. I'm too cheap to buy DocuSign cause I don't like monthly fees. And Doc Sketch came up on AppSumo, forty nine dollars for life, and you can you, you they have like it's drag and drop onto your contract where you want them to uh, sign, maybe just initial and the date, and then uh -huh. it's, it says um, you send it to them right there from the platform, right to the email address. They sign it and you get an email. It's done. So now my contracts are done like that. They're wow. electronically signed, and it was forty nine dollars for life. For life. I mean, automation is wonderful. If you when it, use when it, it works. and if yeah. you buy the right things for automation. Yeah. So yeah. funny that you mentioned that because I think one of the problems that business owners have is we buy a lot of things thinking it's going to automate or systemize or make things simpler. But sometimes we buy the wrong things. Yes. Right. So um, I think that everyone, you got to be careful on what you're buying. It might do one thing, but you might need something that does Yes. Eight things, wait, eight things. And sometimes you buy that one app and then you buy another app and then you buy another app. Um, so yes. do you have any advice of how to get around that? Do you? Um, yes, oh. I do, which is wow. why I'm a big proponent of all in one systems. All in one systems. Put that uh -huh. in the comments. No, <laughs> um, because once you, once you start putting band-aids on stuff, you got all these softwares and you're trying to make them talk to each other. You have to integrate them. And then you have to learn, so um, you have to put in, get Zapier, or if, right. this, if that, then this, and to get it to talk and do what it needs to do. Yeah. So it, for not having to do that, you can actually get all in one system. And so that's where my next software comes in, which is Dubsado. 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 Okay. My life. My life is, is, is my business life is streamlined because of Dubsado. I use this every day, every um, day, okay. every day. So it's your, it's your bookkeeping. It's your scheduling. It's your uh, lead capture. Um, it is, I thought it was just for like contracts or something. No, it's not just for contracts, but it is, you can use contracts. And you can automate, you can build workflows and automate everything. So Jessica so, Phillips just joined us. Uh, hey. She's a speaker that I met at Social Media Marketing World. Can you tell there's a theme here? Like <laughs> yeah. all, my, all my friends from Social Media Marketing World, right? Um, mm -hmm. So Jessica, thanks for joining us. And she says, yep, it's the technique, not the tool. So sorry to Ooh, interrupt you, but she's I saying like it's that. the technique, not the tool. We have to make sure that we're using the right, you know, not only are we using the right tools, but are we using them for the right um, things that we're trying to automate or systemize? Yeah, for what works for us, because even, you know, the whole thing that what works for you may not work for me. Right. So it depends on, you know, what it is that you need done in your business and how, so, you know, yeah. it works for you. So I may. So Dubsado actually does a lot more than what I thought. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And you're a big fan of these all-in-one platforms. Now, I'm, I'm going to be the devil's advocate or whatever you want to say. Mm -hmm. Like, well, you've got all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> Is that scary at all? Like, how do you feel about having all your eggs in one basket? Like, if I'm doing my invoicing, my contracting, like Dubsado, right? I do everything mm -hmm. there. Um, is there any downfall to having it all in one? I don't know. It's just a question. That is a good question because um, we witnessed a couple months ago and we didn't get to the last one. But when Facebook, remember that whole thing when Facebook was down, people were like freaking out. Yeah. Um, the like end of the, the world next was coming. Couple of days, 
uh, Kartra, another all-in-one system that I used, like they were down for a while. So it's it's kind of like it's kind of like what are you going to do? It's the world that we live in, right? right. And so, um, you know, for me, it works best. And what I recommend recommend my clients, you use what works best for you. But if you know that the, the, this business is something that you're definitely doing, this is your work, and you want to uh, you want to find the best way to be efficient and make sure that you save time with what you're choosing to use in your business. Well, and if you're using an all-in-one platform, the benefit that I see is I'm logging in once and I can access all the different things I need to do, whether it be a lead page, invoicing, contracts, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you log uh -huh. in once and you're able to do, you know, 10 different things. So I see that as being a benefit and you're learning one system or one platform versus uh -huh. I have to learn 10 different platforms. So Jessica Phillips just chimed in. She wrote, I use HubSpot plus FreshBooks plus Podio. Podio. Oh, which, that's a membership. Yeah, okay. That's a which membership integrates site. together without Zapier. Thank ah. God. Open o API is nice, but for smaller. Oh, but the, the comment just changed. Uh, but for smaller clients who need an all-in-one starter system, that could be awesome. How do you spell the name of the app you were mentioning? Dubsado? Yeah, it's D-U-B-S-A-D-O. And, and all these are yeah. on my site, too, under the resource tab. They're all on Tasha's uh, website under the resources. And you know what? We're going to put links to all of that mm -hmm. um, after the show. Again, you guys, I'm playing with some new uh, um, technology. I'm playing with my stream deck. I set some different things up on Ecamm with a restream. And so for some reason, I can't type in a comment. Where is, ah. where is Stephanie Liu when I need her? For some reason, <laughs> I can see everyone's comments, but I can't type in a comment. So I can't put those in right now. But after the show, I will go in and put all those in. Uh, Jessica always said, great topics. This is a big issue with many people. Yeah, so Jessica Phillips has a marketing uh, firm and she's an amazing speaker. Jessica, I love you. You are amazing. You inspire me. And... We hope that some of the information we're sharing tonight, even though you have a successful marketing agency, that maybe some of the apps and programs that we're talking about, maybe they will be great for your clients or yourself. Okay. Are you back there, Tasha? Yep. Can you see me? Oh, okay, there she is. Can you hear me? Oh, let me switch it. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you. Okay. I have to switch this. This is funny. I love technology. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, Kimberly says, um, always look at security. What if they're hacked? That's a great question, Kimberly. And I know the area that you work in, that's definitely something that you're always um, concerned with. And I know for myself, um, wow. That is a big issue, getting hacked with these programs. I know for all the platforms that I'm on, all of them, I now have that two-step authentication just to make sure that kind of helps with me um, making sure no one else is um, uh, signing in. But do you have any advice? Like, you know, if if um, uh, Dubsado got hacked and all your client information is in there, is there anything that we can do? Like, should we have a backup should we have our client information stored in a backup server or some kind of backup? Yeah, that's a great question, Kimberly. Ooh, that is a really good question. And um, I that's something that I'm going to look into. Can you get um, back to us maybe with what you find out? Yeah, because even with, okay, with Dubsado, it like saves. So it, it actually saves the lead on the back end, but I also take my leads and save them into my email auto spot, my email software too. So they're there. What email um, software do you use? I use Kartra and then I also oh. have MailChimp still. We didn't talk about Kartra yet, but Kartra has email. Well, let's <laughs> jump into <laughs> Kartra then. Wait, can you move over? Just yeah. wait. Oh, yeah. me? Yeah. There you go. My, did I, yeah, did right there. Stay there. Okay. Because <laughs> you're okay, starting mom. to you're starting to cut off, people will be like, "What?" Um, 
WhatsApp announced a hack yesterday. Oh, yeah, that they got hacked. Um, I, I love that she asked that question because I, that's good. We should um, look into having a some kind of backup for all of our information for our site. We should know. Yeah. So I'm going to put that down right now. And then you can just go back into this live and put what you find. Oh, yeah. Whether what it's, I find out. you know, if it's in a week that's or whatever. A good if, yeah. <laughs> And, you know, Tasha, we can also go into the Facebook group and put that in as well. Um, okay. So Jessica Phillips says she loves AppSumo as well. I don't know. Jessica, are you hooked like me? Because I seriously have an addiction <laughs> problem. And I might need my friends to do an intervention if I buy one more app. Um, Kimberly said, okay, so what's up? Uh, Jessica, you mentioned Facebook page. What about the Facebook page? What did you want us to mention or talk about? Why I wait for Jessica's comment to come through. Let's talk about... Kartra, which okay. oh my, you were talking to me about it and you had me when you said, not only is it all in one, I'm going to let you list out everything, but you mentioned membership. Yeah. So Kartra was uh, the one that was kind of on the end of like needing to scale, but it does everything. Like if you're able to start out with Kartra because you know that eventually you're going to go into these things, it's really a good platform. Um, it does It'll replace your email autoresponder. It'll replace your um, video hosting. It'll replace your um, website hosting. What? Um, it can be your website because you can create your website on there. Um, the only thing it does not do is um, you can't, I wouldn't use it for a blog, but there's what they call a um, hybrid WordPress cartridge hybrid where you can actually take it embed code and put it on top of your WordPress site. And so you can actually create pages Watch. in Kartra. Embed <laughs> yeah, like, code on. <laughs> you can create pages in Kartra and actually um, embed them onto your WordPress site. So what so. if you don't have WordPress? So I don't have WordPress. Does it work so with if you have WordPress? You can just simply just use the Kartra pages. Okay. You can, you can um, you can have a custom domain or subdomain or just use, um, you know, the whatever domain that you signed up with. It'll probably have like, okay. you know, mary.cartra.com or something. Like okay. That. So you, yeah. uh, we've talked about paper form, which mm -hmm. creates amazing pages, uh, yeah, forms, landing pages. And I can't even remember. Like, there's so much information. Quizzes, surveys. Surveys, that's right. Templates. Templates. You know, start with. Okay. And also. Dubsoda. And Dubsoda and Kartra are like these all-in-one platforms that can do payments and just, they kind of do everything. I would love for us to, like, break that down in the comments after the show. Like, the th okay. three to five things that each of these um, apps yeah. do. Um, mm -hmm. These are really great. Now, before, I, I, so do, some of the questions I always get asked is, um, there's a couple things that I want to talk about and just share. And you guys, if you follow me at all, you know that what I'm going to say, I've preached like every January, we do a digital cleanup um, Facebook live show. But we were talking before the show and I'm like, passwords. I Every time I start working with someone, I'm like, and what password manager do you use? And it's like, crickets crickets. I was like, how do you not have a password manager in this day and age? And I'm going to share, you guys know, I like to share the good, the bad, the ugly, and I like to keep it authentic with all of you. So my husband, who I love with all my heart, I'm not kidding. He was just looking for his Excel spreadsheet that has a password on it. Yeah. Hello. Oh, 1987 called. They like their Excel sheet back. So, um, we've started using, La I use LastPass and he has started putting all his passwords in there. Of course, then it's a matter of getting everything in there, but I love LastPass. I used to use M secure and M secure is on here. It's, let's see, it's that blue button with a key. So I use that probably eight, eight years Nine years ago, I started using that. But LastPass, it's online. I can access it anywhere. I can share passwords with my VA, my Facebook manager, uh, my website designer. Um, so I like that. So Stacy Adams just, you know what? Great question. I'm going to interrupt my comment for this. Can't password managers get hacked as well? 
<laughs> You're right. I'm sure that they can. I do like that it's encrypted. What I liked about M Secure is you can do a backup and it's encrypted. You don't see anything. It comes over in some code that I can't understand. But that's a great question, Stacy. Um, I believe that anything can be hacked these days. We have online baking, right? It can get hacked, but we use it. I mean, the government like is going through some kind of thing. Where, I mean, yeah. Can you spell it for us, Renee? LastPass, L A S T P A S S. So, you know, it's all a chance that we take. Um, but I do feel like we have so many passwords that we have to use. So many platforms as business owners. Um, even as just an individual, right? So many passwords that we have to use and remember that I can't remember them all and I'm definitely not carrying around an Excel spreadsheet. Um, Kimberly said, as a privacy geek, that is Kimberly. She's our privacy geek. She works in the HIPAA environment. Um, I will use it and not worry. So Kimberly, you're saying that you use uh, a password manager and you're not worried about it. Um, I know IT people, right? I mean, I work with IT engineers and they all use a password manager. So if you don't have one, look into it. Find one that you're comfortable using. Um, they have really good security, too. Like, I'm sometimes scared of logging into my own last pass because I'm like, ah, what is the main pass? <laughs> the really main password I can remember. But after yeah. that, forget it. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to talk about is, you know, being organized is critical to having a successful business, whether you are starting off, you're ready to scale, or you're like, Jessica, things are running. Jessica, I'm sure that you have different platforms that you use just to stay organized. And I started using Trello, that's T-R-E-L-L-O. Why? Because it's free. You know, when you're starting off, you know, let's be real, cost, financials, that's all a concern when you're starting your business. But I really like Trello because it's easy to use and I actually started using it with my clients. So each client gets their own dedicated Trello board. I find that it's easy to train them on it and my Facebook manager actually started using it as well with her clients. Now there's a lot of other great programs out there like Monday, Asana, there's, um, oh my gosh, Basecamp, right? So which program do you use to stay organized? I use Asana. Okay. And that has, um, I, I've used that in the past. Um, and maybe it's because I didn't have enough time to play with it or the right people. Like I, it just didn't, it just didn't sink in for me. Gotcha. Yeah. They're, um, about a year ago, they came out with their own training. So oh. Asana now has their own training, um, on their site. And I'm actually a Sana certified pro. And that just happened because I'm nosy, you know, I'm the manual. <laughs> so I'm like, Ooh, let me go through this. Cause that's what I used to manage my business. So I'm like, the more I know to manage my business, then, you know, so. And again, yep. you guys, like we're sharing what platforms we like, our favorite platforms and programs, but you really do have to figure out what will work best for you and your business. So Trello's mm -hmm. working fine for me. Asana's working for you. Who knows what I'm going to use in five years? Victor says he uses Asana as well. So wonderful. Um, so we talk about password managers. We're talking about how to get organized, stay organized, keep track of your projects. Um, I talked about the tools that I use here for my Facebook live show. Um, and I have a ton of tools that I can share with you guys over video, but that would be a whole broadcast itself. So maybe I'll do that with my girl, Stephanie Lu soon, because she has not been on my show in over a year. So if anybody wants to see Stephanie Lu, come back on my Facebook live show, give me a high five or type her name in the comments below. Um, so let's see, what else? What about graphics? Do you do anything with graphics? There's already program. I know what my favorite programs are to like make easy graphics. Do you have a program? Yeah. So for easy graphics, Canva, I know. <laughs> surely um, we do. So we do branding for clients too. And we use Adobe and Photoshop, but Canva, and I actually even have, um, I launched a Canva shop, Mary, about a month ago. What? So on my website, I have, I have Canva templates for Facebook and Instagram and Canva templates for Pinterest. That oh, you can, nice. You could just swipe up and brand yourself. Yep. Oh, that's fabulous. Hey, you guys, 
resources <laughs> right there because we want to provide value to you guys. <laughs> I love it. I love Canva as well. Um, I yeah. use like deposit photos to get um, good stock photos. I have to constantly tell people, no, just because the photos on Google doesn't mean and you can save it doesn't mean you should use it. As a matter of fact, you should never do that. You should always purchase your photos because it will come back to you. Trust me. <laughs> Kimberly says that she loves uh, Canva. Renee says, yes, we should bring um, Stephanie on the show. Renee says, can we get the link? Yes, it's on your website, right? Yes. Techwithtasha.com. Techwithtasha.com. Uh, mm-hmm. And you'll see it, I think it's on, on under the shop tab for the Canva template. And I promise as soon as I figure out how I can type and talk at the same time, I'm <laughs> going to put that in there. But hey, guys, tonight I'm using Stream Deck and uh, the comment section is looking a little different. Maybe I didn't do an update, but that's tech for you, right? You just roll with it. So we <laughs> talked about graphics. We um, talked about, you know, how I run my Facebook live show. Oh, you look, I'm twirling in my chair. Can you guys see? Wait, wait. Can you see my cool chair? Wait. Can it's you see? Blurred, blurred, oh, it's, it's turquoise. It's your color. It's your brand color. Yeah, it's turquoise, you guys. I love <laughs> my chair. I love my new chair. Thank you, Jen Herman, for posting your bright, I think it was bright pink chair that you got because I ordered it in turquoise. Yep. <laughs> got to stick with the brand colors. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Kimberly, you're my hero. She just put your website in the comments, techwithtasha.com. And <laughs> Tasha and I will go back in and we're going to drop links to all of our favorite programs and apps and continue to ask your or answer your questions. Are there any other apps or programs that you think um, entrepreneurs, business owners, like it would be helpful? Either the startup or, oh, hey, I'm ready to scale. Now what do I do? How do I get more organized so I can scale, right? Is there any other programs that you use that, you know, I know we only have the three in the program, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of. Invoicing, you use Dubsado, is that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Depsado. What about and accounting? Then, Do you just use an Excel Depsado. sheet? Really? I actually, mm -hmm. Depsado for bookkeeping. Um, I was using FreshBooks. I, I do still like FreshBooks. Okay. But I'm trying to, you know, streamline it over to Depsado since they have bookkeeping too. Um, wow. But I'm still kind of between the, the two because um, Depsado and... doesn't have like, they, they're still missing some capabilities in their bookkeeping although um, they are still updating some things. So I still have my fresh books. Okay. Yeah, I'm still, I'm not, I think this year I'll look at a in, uh, accounting program this year. Later this year, I'll be at that point. My tax person said, you're okay right now. Later this <laughs> year, we'll need it. Um, so what else do we have? Does anyone have any other questions out there? Regarding any programs or apps, like you're like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this and I don't know what program to use. If you go ahead and pop that in the comments, we'll go ahead and answer that for you. Um, I'm looking at, I really want to like just sit down and play with these other, pro, these all in one <laughs> things. I'm like, hmm, I feel like I just want to like dip soda, like maybe I overlooked that program. Maybe I didn't look into it enough. I was going to show. I'm going to see, I'm going to try something. Bear with me. Okay. So you guys are seeing my screen right now. And so I had brought up some programs right here. So here's Kartra, K-A-R-T-R-A. -A. Um, I use Loom. Loom is a great oh, program Loom. Yeah, for Loom. tutorial. And then you guys, I just wanted to show you my, um, real quick, uh, my addiction. <laughs> so, so Tasha, you can't see the screen, but I'm sharing programs and apps that I purchased on my Trello board. And they're broken okay. down by That's photos right. for finances, for movies, miscellaneous, for books, transcribing, link generators, <laughs> what emails I use, uh, social media, the two social media scheduling tools. And then there's a new one called app.process.st and that's for contracts. So, I just kind of, oops, we don't want to show that. So we're going to go back. So I just wanted to show you guys, I use Trello personally and for my business. My husband and I use it. Like we have um, a shared Trello board that we use for our scheduling vacation. Like 
our vacation goals for each year. So ah. it's fun. So Renee has a question, mail service provider. Now this can get really tricky in my opinion because every you know, there's so many out there. They serve different purposes. They work different ways. Uh, we're all at different uh, a different uh, season in our business per se. So depending on the size, a lot of people start off with MailChimp because it's free. Um, I started with Constant Contact because I could do events in it, right? But then I moved to Active Campaign, which I think is way more robust than Constant Contact. But what do you use, Tasha? Um, I use both MailChimp uh, and Kartra. So Kartra, the all-in-one again. Mm -hmm. I love all in one. I'm like, man. Um, so, uh, Renee, does that answer your question? So maybe Renee, you want to look at this all in one program, Contra, Cartra, Cartra. I can't say that word. Cartra. Maybe you want to look into Cartra if, if that will work for you. Um, and what is the monthly fee for Cartra? What does that start at? If you can recall, um, Cartra, I believe starts at about ninety dollars a month. So that's one. But that's a you know, for that's but, so, but that covers so many things. That covers so much. It does. It even does affiliate programs. What? Yes. <sighs> so let's say someone's launching a course. Because she keeps talking uh -huh. about it, and Stephanie uh -huh. Liu has set a deadline for me, and I want to have affiliates. I've uh -huh. actually I've got affiliates that already said, "Mary, we're gonna sell your course for you. We believe in you. We want to sell that." Um, I could do affiliates through that. Yep, you can do, it, and you can give them their own. You can, you can, uh, they can have their own kind of their link. own link, their yeah. own link page. You can what? Yep. You can automate the payment on the back end. So, Tasha, you, you and I, we're just going to have an off a, a session <laughs> off of here, and we're just. I just want to see how. I'm such a visual learner. Like, I want you to show me, like, yeah. how you use it one day. Like, I think that would be very helpful. Um, yeah, let's do it. So, Renee said, "What automation, if any, for Facebook and LinkedIn?" Well, I can talk about LinkedIn, and you know, LinkedIn doesn't like automation. So, <laughs> uh, Renee. I would love for you to post that question in the Facebook group, the LinkedIn Bakery, okay? And I will answer that over there. If you guys are not in the LinkedIn Bakery, it is my free Facebook group, uh, and it's just where you can get more support. You can ask questions like this, share your profile, um, post your thing, events that are going on, and just really get support for LinkedIn and anything entrepreneurish. You like that, entrepreneurish? Um, Kimberly said... <laughs> Kimberly says, thank you for showing your Trello board. I'm going to have to start one. I have so many projects going on. Yeah, Kimberly, find what works for you. Trello's free. It's a great starting point. Probably when my business grows and as I bring on, uh, as I bring on more staff, maybe Asana is where I want to go, probably. Let me add, I've been using the free Asana since I started. Oh, Asana you're using the free, free version? Um, yes. Oh, I, I just switched over to the paid version only because we're starting to do more projects, more of the same type of projects. And uh, only in the free version can you um, copy over your workflow. Okay. But I've been using the, I've been tweaking myself, but I've been using the um, Good to know. free version for okay. a while. Yep. So you guys, you know what? Sign up for the free version of any of those platforms. Test it out for two weeks. See what makes sense to you intuitively. You know, we want these programs and apps to be easy. And my girl, Stephanie Lou just joined. Stephanie, so glad that you joined us. I have uh, Tasha here. We're talking about t um, tech apps and programs. And I kind of called you out and said that I haven't <laughs> had you on my show in a while and that I think you and I need to do a show about Facebook Live and all the apps and programs because I was showing off. Wait, Stephanie will be so proud. Look, I'm using it. She helped me set it up. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud that I'm actually using it. Might not be using it well, but I'm using it tonight. Um, so what else? Um, it worked to get you on. That's so funny. Um, so we've talked about organizing. We talked about financing. And basically, Tasha shared with us 
three amazing platforms that are like do it they do everything so you don't have to sign in to 10 different platforms and you don't have to be signing or or paying monthly fees on 10 different platforms right sign into one pay one monthly fee save money save time and learn one platform one program instead of 10. so she shared paper form Dubsado and Kartra. Those are her top three uh, programs that she wanted to share with the audience. Thank you so much, Tasha. Uh, Stephanie you. said, yes, yes. Stephanie, me, you, girl, we're going to talk later. Um, <laughs> and so, you guys, I want to encourage you to check out uh, Tech with Tasha, her website, find her tools. Is that under resources, you said? It's under resources, yes. And if you guys have any more questions, my girl Tasha here, she will be more than happy to answer your questions. If you wanted to dig a little more into um, email services or understand a little more about Kartra, then maybe just reach out to her and I'm sure she would um, love to uh, help you decide which platform. And if you need help with tech, you know, or you need support, um, Tasha has her services that she offers. I'm not exactly sure where you're at because I know that you have got so many things going on, girl, these membership sites, and you're telling me how you have this huge launch coming out in June. Can you give us like... Oh, yeah. So I can you share? Publicly anywhere. So this is like just... Oh, my gosh. Up. Hot off the presses. <laughs> but um, I'm doing an amazing collaboration with, and I wish I had all the details in front of me, but I don't. So I have to come back to you guys. Um, six amazing women. Um, and we're collaborating and putting a membership together um, that we're actually building right now. And it will encompass um, seven different uh, layers. So I'll be doing the tech. There'll be a lawyer that we they'll be doing the legal someone will be doing sales there's a wellness um someone will be doing uh social media um so kind of cover, uh, covering two. the whole gamut of being a business right. owner mm -hmm. <sighs> and it's um and it's christian women business owners um and but like i said it's for anyone but the, our messaging is um, of course women of faith, but it is going to be amazing. It'll hopefully be ready in the next couple of weeks. Um, but it's started, I think it's going to be about $30 a month and you'll get something every week from those different topics. Wow. That's so awesome. I'm excited about it. Well, yeah. I'm excited. And Tasha, when that gets launched, will you post that in the LinkedIn bakery group? Yeah, I want yeah. you to share that because that group is built to support you guys, to help my network, to become a resource, right? That's what that group is for. So I would love, 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 love for you to share that in that group and let us support you in this journey of collaborating thank and creating you. this site. Yeah. So Please everybody's try. saying thank you, you guys. This has been so much fun. I, I could probably sit and geek out for another hour. But it's going on 11 o'clock where Tasha is. So she might need to get some sleep. Jet lag. Uh, poor thing. So thank you again <laughs> for honoring your commitment and coming on, even though you had this trip pop up in your schedule. I so appreciate you. Like, oh, just really yeah, appreciate I, you taking so much the time. Fun. I know. My show is, so oh, my whole brand like, is fun and informative. Like, we want to have fun and I want to inform people. So it has been a blast, you guys. If you're not part of the LinkedIn Bakery, that is where the cool kids are hanging out, finding out everything that's going on on LinkedIn, why you should automate or not automate for LinkedIn, what the newest features are. I do a tip every Tuesday. You can find that there. And I have some special offers coming up for the members in the LinkedIn Bakery group. I'm starting a video challenge for LinkedIn next week. So start thinking about those ideas. I will help you if you need topics and ideas to do your video because we all know video is 80% of marketing. So we have to wrap our heads around that and do video whether we like it or not. But it doesn't always mean that your face has to be on camera. There's other ways to do video. So let me help you with that. Um, I think uh, my next show is June. Not sure of the date, you guys, but it's coming up in June. And I believe I'm going to have a guest from Thinkific. If you remember, they were a sponsor of LinkedIn Local. They are an online platform where you can host your online courses. So, you guys, thank you for joining us tonight at Bite Size Tips for Busy Entrepreneurs. Tasha, kisses and hugs. You go get some sleep. And I'll see you guys online. Take care. Bye. Bye.